everyone the topic for today's lecture is false part so like it's a very common interview questions uh, for the companies these days like what is false path so the straightforward answer for the question is a false path is a path that cannot propagate a signal for example a path that could not be activated by any combinations of inputs so uh, why we need to detect false path because if we are like uh, identifying which false path which false path is there in the socket then we can eliminate that make our timing analysis more efficient so like it's very necessary to identify like the false path in a socket so let's uh, look and look, look into this with the help of an example so here in this example there are four flip flops flip flop 1 2 3 and 4 so let's look at the output of flip flop 3 so uh, like as we know like whatever the input at output at d that will be the output for the flip flop 3 so the output at d is coming from the ending of the outputs of flip flop 1 and flip flop 2 so basically whatever the outputs of these two will be coming to this like this will be one when all the all these two are one so you can see here also okay so here you can see when both are one then it will be one and when at zero when one of the inputs is zero then the output of the flip flop 3 is zero and now look at the uh, flip flop 4 in this flip flop as we can see the output of these two ends are reflecting the output of this input of this or gate and it's taking the input from flip flop 2 also then it's giving the output so as we can see in the two table of this flip flop 4 we can see like it is reflecting the output of flip flop 2 only whatever there is on flip flop 2 it's reflecting on flip flop 4 because it's a or gate so now what we can see is like it's not necessary like if we will eliminate this also for flip flop 4 that it won't get any effect for us so we can see this path from here to here is a false path it's not using anywhere anyway the output is coming from here only the output of flip flop is reflecting at this so for our circuit this is our false path so how we can eliminate this false path there is a proper syntax for that let's see what the syntax is this is a syntax as we can know it's coming from flip flop 1 to flip flop 4 we will declare it as set false path this is the syntax from flip flop 1 to flip flop 2 and we will declare this from and to okay now let's let's look at the second example yeah so in this as we are seeing there are two mux mux 0 and mux 1 so when the select input is 0 when it is 0 then what's happening is like when it is 0 this in 0 is getting selected okay and this also this in 0 is getting selected and it's giving the output and then its select line is 1 then it will go to first this it will select this and this output will go to output that will connect to one combinational logic then will go to input one of mux one and then it will giving the output so here what we are watching is like there is no connection from in 0 to out so this is the false path for our circuit this will be the false path okay so we can exclude this using the same syntax like the same syntax i have told you for the before socket so this is the like common syntax as i have told you in the previous example like false path and declare the path 
like in this, like from like from which flip flop to which flip flop, and if there are any other circuits or any other logic circuits in between, like some combination like and or, then we can also declare the here also set of call required to our socket. Okay, if there is any uh, like let's look at this example in this socket. Like there are two independent clocks, clock one and clock two. So these are not dependent on each other. Okay. So in this case, we will set the false path from this one to this two, if there are any errors on that. So hope you like the lecture and do subscribe to our channel, VLSI for all, and hit the like button. Thank you.